Hi everybody, it's Amber and I have my final two craft fair ideas to share and these two are my best sellers. So I usually make these kind of last minute right before the craft fair and that's what I'm doing here. As you can see, I'm using these Hershey Nuggets and I cut tons and tons of paper down to three by one. And this is what I came up with. Aren't these adorable? You need these plastic sleeves and just some yarn, some tags, and all these chocolates wrapped in scrapbook paper. And you have yourself a beautiful stocking stuffer or Christmas gift. And I think these are just such great sellers, you guys. I sell these for $3 or two for five. So these are the ones I came up with and I also made another variation. So out of two of those big, huge Hershey Nugget packs, I can make 30 packages of these. And those run around $10 each at Walmart. So those are my chocolates and plaid. And again, here's the package of Hershey Nuggets. And I just love making these. They, they do take a while because I made so many. I got two packages of these Hershey Nuggets and I made every single one of them. And then here is my other variation. And this cute idea came from my good friend, an amazing crafter, Crafty Irina, here on YouTube. She came up with this, um, how the little Santa Clauses are in there. And she wrapped them with... A, return address labels that you can get at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to show you the packaging here in just a second but aren't these adorable and I just tied some yarn around them and I had these cute little Santa Claus tags that I got from the Dollar Tree which I don't think are available still but um, you can check and then these are the cute address labels isn't that genius you guys she's so genius crafty Irina hey Irene Okay, so last I'm showing you my number one top seller at craft fairs, and these are my hot cocoa pouches. So this year I did a little something different. If you've been watching my videos, I usually put a cute um, Christmas straw in there, but I decided to put a candy cane in there this year. And I went ahead and decorated these envelopes. My sister Bree totally helped me with this. And I used these cute die cut tags that I got in packages at the Dollar Tree, which I don't think are still available. I'm so sorry. I just stocked up on so many because I loved them so much. And I'm able to use them every year. Um, I have tutorials and videos on both the chocolates and the hot cocoa pouches. So I'm just going to show you how... Um, I set it up here. So I took envelopes and I cut them down to four and a quarter by four and a quarter, matted them with four by four paper, tied ribbon, and put that cute little embellishment on the front. Just slipped a hot cocoa packet in and a candy cane. And I'll tell you, I got these um, packages of hot cocoa, which you should totally get them at Walmart. That's where I got them. You get 30 for like $3, you guys. Seriously, they're like three fifty dollars or $3 for an entire pack of 30 hot cocoa pa packets. So I really want to thank each and every one of you for watching my craft fair series this year. And I'm going to be doing a recap of all of my sales and best sellers, worst sellers at, from my craft fair, along with a video of my craft fair. So thank you again so much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to link these two tutorials below for my videos in the past. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a week to come. And happy crafting, everybody. Bye.